Katie here and welcome to my channel. Hey, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I am uh, doing pretty okay actually. Like if y'all are keeping up with my videos, I pretty much just quit cold turkey smoking and unfortunately it caused a huge psoriasis breakout all over my skin probably the biggest psoriasis outbreak i've had uh in terms of places on my body but not in terms of like it's probably about the same amount that i've had usually it covers all of my hands and my feet but perhaps you don't know what psoriasis is and that is what the first half of this video is. If you want to just uh, skip to the care of how I take care, that's right here, this time code right here is where you'd want to go. But I have been diagnosed with psoriasis for over 10 years, I want to say probably about 12 years. And the first time I got it, I <laughs> was skipping class and I went to this little water park uh back home and i got a splinter in my nail and that place is closed down now so condominiums or something which is probably a good thing because apparently psoriasis uh was triggered by bacteria and as well as like the cutting of the nail bed but that doesn't explain at all what psoriasis is. I'm still really trying to get my mind uh, to go in a straight line rather than hop, skipping, and jumping all over the place. ADHD friends, tell me how you deal with it because I am struggling. Uh, I'm not taking medication for it or anything. Anyways, psoriasis is... T cells, which are white blood cells in your skin, uh, mutate, causing an a dysregulated immune activity. Um, unlike eczema, which is the B cells, I think they are closely related, though. Um, but this causes just like an overproduction of skin cell and. The result is plaques or scales building up. Um, I personally have three types of psoriasis. Uh, well, it's probably more like two. I mean, I do have... So I have plaque psoriasis. And that didn't happen the first time. That happened the second time I got psoriasis, which I was going at my nails real hard. I was being really adamant about keeping them nice and cute and I was digging in them and I had like, I had one of these. I was going in at it uh, and I hadn't cleaned it. I was using it every day and it just, another cut in my nail bed, same pinky and everything is where it started and bacteria and it just poof, blew up. Uh, not as bad as the first time. And it took half as long to get rid of it. But where I'm coming from with that is I have plaque psoriasis, pustular psoriasis, and uh, palm psoriasis, which is mostly pustular. Uh, I just get like little uh, blisters all over my hands. And maybe you can see this, like those right there. I need to pop them usually, so if you ever see my hands, you usually see like little dry circles, and that would be where I pop them, and if I don't pop them, they turn into hard little brown, like, scabby bits, but it's, it's basically like having my own personal uh, bubble wrap on my hand. Very satisfying to pop, um, but... You might also be wondering, can you catch psoriasis from someone? No. No, you cannot. It is a hereditary. Uh, you have to have it from 
one of your parents, one of your parents' parents, like in my case, my dad and my mom biologically do not have psoriasis as far as I know, but apparently my grandfather on my dad's side does have some sort of eczema psoriasis situation going on. And so there's that. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's hereditary. It's caused by stressors. And mine was triggered by not smoking, which makes sense because stress causes it. Alcohol, I had to just completely take out alcohol from my life to get my last one, uh, my last outbreak taken care of because I did some research this time and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, which is hilarious because it was my first year of college, the first time I had it, and it went away. Uh, <laughs> if you have it, you do not want to itch it because abrasion of the skin is going to cause it to spread. It's going to cause the immune system to go at the, you know, the wound to help heal it. But it's going to be like, oh, what's this other healthy skin around it? I don't know what that is. And it's going to cause... An attack of the healthy skin. So really you're just gonna have to pay attention to your psoriasis and see just what triggers uh, your psoriasis. So usually what I've noticed with me is well, mostly just medications. Medication and alcohol are big triggers. Uh, the cold weather causes the psoriasis patches on my leg to break out every every year and I like can't get it to go away on my feet for the most part there's always just like some blisters there but yeah you just have to pay attention to your triggers figure out what you need to avoid keep a nice calm healthy mindset and environment um and yeah, so there's that. Uh, if you have psoriasis right now, they recommend that you get sunlight. Like, don't don't go out without sunscreen on because if you, like, you know, get burned really badly, that's going to cause your skin to need healing. So it's going to cause your immune system to attack your healthy skin, causing more psoriasis. But apparently sun helps with it, moisture helps with it. So like the sun hitting, causing you to sweat is going to help uh, your skin do better. <laughs> um, you can also get topical steroids. I personally do not want to do it uh, with steroids. Uh, and like I said, keep personal triggers in mind, stay away from those. The second time I had psoriasis, I started going up my legs rather than just being on my palms. And I noticed that every time I took a bath with bath salts, it was immensely helping. So I don't know if the salt helped clear it up or there's minerals in the salt, but baths do help. Um, by the way, I am putting in the description below, it's not going to be MLA format or anything, but... I'm going to put my sources down below. Uh, some of this is my own personal, you know, stuff. But I, I do just want to say, if you want to keep your psoriasis to a minimum, do not itch it and keep it moisturized. And so on that note, uh, <laughs> I just, I guess, like, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's weird. Okay. Welcome to my shower. Okay. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna film this. I really don't. But can you see, you can kind of see my legs, right? But then I won't be able to water it. Um, I'm just gonna, um, I'm just gonna pick you guys up and film it this way, I guess. So I've had psoriasis on my feet for a long time. It went away completely the first time I got my psoriasis to go away, but it, it didn't go away the second time. And right now I do have patches all over the place on my legs. This is kind of a classic 
psoriasis look. This is a classic psoriasis patch right there. And um, when I first got psoriasis, I was itching continuously. And as you see, I have lines of psoriasis, and that is where I was itching and causing abrasions. Why won't it focus? There we go. But yeah, this side isn't as bad, I suppose. Uh, as you can see, this whiter, clearer patch of skin right here, this is where I will normally get psoriasis. There, there's one over here that I get. Oh, I have some on my tattoo right here. That is not flattering. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so I get a patch right here. There's one right here that I usually will get during the winter. I have a whole bunch of blisters on the bottom of my foot right now. But I will say, if you feel like itching, there's two options I will suggest. An ice cube or hot water. And I uh, bought this on my second go around just for this situation. So what I like to do <laughs> is, well first, I turn on like the hottest possible water I can stand. Oh my gosh. And I either use this mist setting or I'll use the massage setting. And like literally just, oh, go at it. And this will help moisturize it too and everything. And just, it's gonna feel itchy at first, right? You're going to want to scratch it. Do not scratch it. It's, it's all worth not touching it, to be honest, because once you get done, you literally, you just can't feel it. Oh, it feels good, though. But yeah, so, I will say also, like, when you're in a bath, it's going to be really itchy, but you're going to want to not itch it. Because the skin's going to be softer and itching it will cause more abrasion to happen. Like more cuts from doing all that. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I'm not even paying attention to what I'm filming. I'm just talking and spraying. But, oh man, I forgot about this whole patch. That's not itchy at all anymore, so I'm super happy with that. I hope y'all don't mind how completely hairy my legs are. So, it's gonna feel like you're tickling the roof of your mouth with your tongue. You know, like if you've ever done that before, that's what it's going to feel like. Do not scratch, do not itch, do not pass go, do not collect that $200 of relief for itching. Because you will collect a thousand dollars for not itching, basically. Like, it literally, once you get out, it's not going to itch. But yeah, so this or Ice Cube. Ice Cube doesn't work quite as well for me, but if I don't want to waste a whole lot of water, that's what I do. And this will also help moisturize the skin. And the next step will really bring it into locking in that moisture, which is something you extremely want. So once that's all done, you know, we're going to pat off the leg, patting. You want to pat, not like, you don't want to scrub or anything. There are going to be like soft bits of psoriasis. For me, I don't know if it's okay to just go in and like rub that out. I do that sometimes, but I really try to just pat everything dry and not tear any skin off. Um, exfoliating, I don't recommend. I don't know what y'all can see. I'm using my back camera. 
So what I do for this is I just put on lotions. So I'll either use like a Bath and Body Work lotion or some sort of oil. I'm going to go with an oil today. This is also a Bath and Body Works lotion oil thing, but it doesn't take too much. I just kind of put it on so that, you know, like regular, to be honest. So even when I don't have psoriasis, this is kind of just like two or three drops cover the leg. And then there are uh, certain face products that I have that have blue tansy oil in them, like this one. Um, so apparently it's really good for psoriasis and stuff. And actually I started looking into it. I also have this one Sunday Riley that's retinol and blue tansy. What I do is I'll go ahead and just put little tiny drops and just like rub that in right before bed. Like it really, 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 you don't need a lot. It's just enough to cover that section. And honestly, I didn't think to put this on other parts of my skin until after my face started healing as quickly as it did. Oh, so another thing I do is I take radiola and um, primrose oil in conjunction with each other. The reason I started doing that was because I read... I was reading up on radiola and what it does, and I came across just, like, studies of radiola in conjunction with primrose oil helping but not proving to solve psoriasis. So I tried it out. Uh, desperate times, and it worked. I don't know if it was... <sighs> just a psychological reaction, placebo effect thing, or if it just helped. Um, when it came to my face, I washed it. I washed it with uh, my usual go-to unfragranced, like, face wash. It's a micellar. And at night, I would put on this Luna Sunday Riley night sleeping oil and then in the mornings I would like the hottest water possible because my face was so itchy oh I still have psoriasis right here don't I dang it so in the mornings I would go in with with this one which is a cure and this is just blue tansy I'm pretty sure it says seriously smoothing or soothing blue tansy night oil, but I would put that on the patches directly, you know, and then I was using, I'm a big uh, Sunday Riley fan apparently, but I was using the CEO Glow. It has turmeric in it, uh, vitamin C. I think vitamin C helps. Uh, I'm not sure about turmeric, but definitely just keeping it moisturized. And then before I mix it in, I'd get some of this on, which, to be honest, this stung like an NF, okay? I might just recommend you getting something else, something, but I would use, ooh, I wouldn't use a lot. I'd use about this much, and I'd put that all over my face, uh, you know, and uh, my face would be extremely oily, but within five minutes. The psoriasis mostly uh, ate all that up. And it was good. Um, uh, this is pretty much 
how I keep my psoriasis under control other than not scratching. If you have eczema, I would not follow this routine. I would go do some other research on another video because apparently, although they are like sibling type of hereditary diseases, it's a uh, gets worse with moisture so yeah I would uh, give you the advice of just not itching don't scratch it don't touch it same deal with that if you gotta use an ice cube maybe I don't know <laughs> um but yeah this is this is how I take care of my psoriasis when it pops up and I hope that it helped y'all and then I was able to edit this into something cohesive at the least. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Bye.